Thanks for checking out this movie review video. So this is for the 2020 release Boys from County Hell. Now this is a Shutter exclusive and it's coming to Shutter on Thursday, April 22nd. So since I'm releasing this before it comes out and since it's a newer film, no spoilers on this, but I will talk about a little bit of thematic something or other, but it doesn't really ruin anything for the film. Now this is an interesting one because this is kind of one of those films that you don't you don't experience stuff like this all that often that once you break it down, this film is actually better than the sum of its parts, basically. Like when I was breaking it down and looking at it while I was watching it, I was like, this is good. This is OK. This is good. You know, kind of breaking all the pieces down and talking about different aspects of it, which I will in a minute. But there's something else that when all that just comes together, it's better and feels better than it actually should be based off how it is broken down. It's weird. It uh, The best way I can probably put it is that this film just has a charisma to it. It's very charismatic. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's very charismatic. I think one of the main driving uh, components of that may be the characters. Like, you actually feel the characters are very realistic. You like the characters. The acting is really well done. And I actually feel like they kind of take those characters to the next level, the actors do, and kind of imbue them with even more, which, you know, I'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. But let's talk about the the uh, the main stuff here. Written and directed by Chris Baugh, who did the film Bad Day for the Cut. Uh, this was actually based on a short film. Now, the synopsis of this is, and I'm going to be as vague as I can here, um, but... This is none of this is spoiler. So it's set in Ireland. So there are accents. Some people may have a hard time keeping up. I know some people have a problem keep, keep, keeping up with Scottish, Irish, and English accents. My father has a hard time with just English accents. But if you watch enough of those films, you catch them. Um, so some people may have problems. But it takes place in Ireland. And it's basically kind of a small, sleepy town that has a tourist aspect to it that is built into some horror lore. Uh, and some friends who live there, and one friend in particular who it focuses on, who is kind of a little bit aimless in life, and then something in town happens, and some people need to rise to the occasion. And that's where I'm going to leave that. Now, I will say that this film starts to have a bit of a feel like it's going to be like Shaun of the Dead. It really starts to have that feeling, but it's not. It's totally it's different a different thing. There is a comedic aspect to it, but it's not nearly to the level that Shaun of the Dead is. So it walks this interesting line of having comedic moments, but also feeling very much like it's just very horror, serious horror driven. So it's interesting. And like I said, it's just, it's got this kind of intangible charisma to the film where like, I'm not going to rate it unbelievably high, but I really liked it. I really had fun with it. I really enjoyed the film. So anyway, uh, there's an unbelievably intriguing setup in the very beginning, right before the uh, beginning credits start happening, that really is an intention grabber. I really like that aspect of the film. It just starts like boom, and you're just like, I got to stick around and figure out where this goes. And trust me, do that, because it's worth it for sure. Um, they take old lore, like I was saying before, but they have fun with it because they put their own twist on this old lore. And you'll see what I mean. And the little twist that they put on it, I think is actually pretty smart and ingenious and it works. That's one of the big things. When you're taking some older stuff that kind of has been done a lot in horror, I'm always looking for, put your own flavor on it. What are you doing with it? And these, this guy, Baugh, um, Chris Baugh, Chris? Yes, okay, I just want to make sure I got it right. Chris Ball really put in, in a his own twist on it, and I appreciate that. I thought it was very interesting. And for that reason, you kind of feel like you don't necessarily know exactly where things are going to go with the film, which is a very welcome feeling when watching films that kind of touch on these types of subjects. So I enjoyed it. They t uh, Oh, and because it is shot in Ireland, obviously all the outside shots look beautiful because it's a lush green place. It's beautiful. There's a really fun soundtrack to this. I think that's one of the other things that kind of adds to that overall charismatic charismatic aspect to the film. Uh, it's more of kind of like contemporary rock kind of driven music. So it's like upbeat. It's fun. It's, it's a good time. I love the soundtrack with it. It matches what's going on too. 
There are a few scenes with some noticeably unstable camera work, which bothers me, but there's not too much of that. It's just here and there, and it's not consistent like a film like Violation, where they just, that was, woo, that was hard to watch because of that. Um, it's just something I notice because I always give the good and the bad with these films. So yeah, just something I notice. Um, there's something that comes out of nowhere that legitimately startled me. Um, in this film. Like, I wasn't prepared for it, but I like that. I love that, that something caught me off guard. And actually, there are a few jump scares in this that actually got me, which it's hard to do. And part of it is because there's a large discrepancy between the normal volume level of, you know, where characters are talking and normal things are happening, and then when things get tense or something surprising happens. It was a big discrepancy, so it really just, like, blasts your eardrums, which I don't like that, but I think it does help in actually making jump scares work, so it's this kind of, like, good and bad aspect of things, but I did find myself numerous times having to kind of adjust the volume on my laptop, because I was doing it with the headphones in, um, yeah, just having to reach over and, you know, hit that button to take the volume down and then put it back up when people were talking. So I don't like that audio discrepancy. I've never have, but some people aren't really bothered by it. Actually, probably most people aren't really bothered by it, but it's just a me thing. Uh, the characters are really well written and their interactions and their relationships feel very real. The characters feel real, real, their relationships feel real. The things they say to each other feel real. That's good script writing. That is someone who knows how to develop, create, uh, and bring to life actual characters. And dialogue is not easy to write either, so kudos on that. There is some solid comedy. Like I said, there's a little bit of comedy to it. There's some stuff that you're like, you know it's kind of supposed to be funny, but it's not really funny. But it, when it's not funny, it doesn't kill anything. It's not one of those things where like when the comedy doesn't hit you're like, ugh, and it takes you out of it, because I've seen plenty of movies like that. It doesn't try too hard. The The ones that, the the lines that I know were kind of supposed to be comedic, but they weren't funny to me, just end up blending in as like kind of normal banter that these characters have. So you just move past it if it didn't really land for you. So that's good. There's some, oh, I already talked about that. My apologies. Even when not much is happening, it has a fun, playful feel to the film. This goes back to that whole charisma, uh, charisma thing and partially the uh, soundtrack really contributing to that. There's one particular thing a character does that does not make sense. There are a few, there's one big thing, but there are a few moments in the film where characters do things that do not actually make sense and have to basically be chalked up to being stupid or just because or being in a tough situation or I don't know but there were a few kind of things like that one thing that's kind of big in particular that I was like I, I really don't see anyone actually doing that in this situation so it's a real big stretch but I moved past it because the film is fun uh, the actors enhanced their roles, like I said. I feel like they really took the characters and took them to a next to the next level. It's not just the writing of the characters and their dialogue and relationships. I think the actual actors like really, really, really brought it together. There are some well-utilized shots with something happening in the foreground and the background at the same time. I love when filmmakers can pull that off, where like you're focusing on something in the foreground and... And then all of a sudden you kind of see something happening in the background that's not being focused on, but it's important to the film. There are a few of those moments in the film and they're done well and I love those types of things. So, uh, and I will say overall directing, nice. Cinematography, nice. I dig it. There's something a character does at the very end of this that I really don't know how to feel about because on one hand, it's a very unique thing that they did that I've never seen anyone do in a film before. But on the other hand, I feel like it's stupid. Um, and not like a funny stupid or anything. I just felt like it was stupid stupid. So like, I felt conflicted when I had these thoughts in my mind because I'm like, I feel like I have to give them points for doing something I've never seen before. And it's very, it's a unique thing to do. So good job on coming up with something new, but it's dumb. And I don't really like it necessarily. <laughs> So somehow that brought me like kind of to the midpoint and I felt like, I don't know how to feel about this. It's weird. I'd be interested to see what other people think. It's at the very end of the film pretty much. 
you'll know what I'm talking about. It's something that you definitely don't see coming in the film. And you're just like, okay. So go ahead and put it in the comments because spoilers in the comments, that's fine. Uh, so it's an overall story arc that's been done a lot in horror. So there isn't much new there. But that said, it's a fun time. This goes back to that whole thing I've been repeating numerous times. There's a charisma to the film. Everything just comes together. It's better than the sum of its parts somehow. And I just, it's hard to explain. The other thing is they have some good practical effects to it. There's some good gore to it. And um, yeah, there's just some good ideas at play in this film. And honestly, I would watch more films like this by the same writer-director. So Chris Ball, nice job. I enjoyed it. So out of five stars with half stars in play, I told you I can't go nuts on it. I'm going to give it a three-star rating. It is a three-star film, but it's a fun three-star film. Like, I've given films three stars before because I'm like, I recognize that this is a well-done film and technically it's very good and blah, 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 blah. Uh, but I was I wasn't huge on it. This is one where it's it's a three star film, but I definitely recommend it, and I had a, had a fun time with it, and I'd probably watch it again too. So, just saying. But anyway, I want to hear what other people have to say about this film. Go ahead, put it in the comments if you've seen it at this point. Go ahead, spoilers, spoilers in the comments, people. Just know that so we can go back and forth. Um, do me another favor, real quick. Hit that subscribe button. If you do not subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate it. If you would subscribe because that's how I grow things here and start to have some semblance of success because what I'm really looking to do is get to a point where I can take YouTube's money. Just saying. Um, not a lot of it, just a little bit. Enough enough to make it feel like I'm not just throwing all my time into these things um, for that, but I mean, I'm mainly doing it as a hobby anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter that much in the end. But I do want to hear your comments about things. So if you are subscribed, it makes it more likely that you'll see my other videos. You'll take some interest. And then we can have some good conversation on cool horror stuff. So also hit the notification bell button. And that way you'll know when I'm putting up new videos, whether it's a review like this, a more in-depth review, a haul video, an unboxing, an opinion piece, blah, 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 blah. I do a lot. But anyway, thanks for taking your time to watch this. And until next time, keep it brutal.